All right, I will show you a nice winter dessert that any female in the household will love. And it's made from mascarpone, uh, Italian cheese, creamy, sweet cheese, some fruit, sponge cake biscuits, as well as a bit of espresso. So, the initial thing we need to do is make some coffee. And this dessert is actually kind of nice. It's both uh, very sweet, but at the same time, it will wake you up with coffee. So, uh, highly recommended for those cold winter evenings when you guys want to have some fun. We need a bit of sweet espresso, and that's exactly what I'm going to make. This is Arabica coffee. Here, what you can see in the machine. We need about 60 mils. Now all we need is a bit of sugar. As you can see I've got three varieties here. The brown, very nice, sweet, dessert-like. The less brown one and the white one which I'm going to use for this dessert two teaspoons so it needs to be real sweet and you mix it up nicely and then what you need to do is best to infuse the sponge cake with the coffee so almost like in tiramisu except we're not giving any alcohol so this can be given to kids as well provided you give them decaf so as you can see the sponge cake is being infused you may or you may not place it in the fridge for like 15 minutes depending on how you like it if you like your uh, coffee and sponge cake to be warm you can use it like that if you want to get it cold or you want to be prepped for some party you can put it in the fridge okay the next step is to put some sugar in my mascarpone cheese and this is my favorite brand which you can get in uh, Central Europe in the UK as well you know, from Polish shops it's Piątnica so it's not actually original Italian one but this one and I tried a lot this one tastes best so what we need to do is we need to add as you can see it's been already eaten up so that's not the first dessert I'm making uh, and what we need to do is also put a number of sugar teaspoons and mix it all well together. So the secret to the recipe is mixing it nicely. All right. So as you can see, a teaspoon may be used nicely. I don't want to make it creamy. It needs to be solid. That's why I'm not using any mixes. And that's why this dessert is really easy to make even if you've got no tools in the kitchen, which you consider useless because you don't cook. This one will be easy to make, okay? So, I mix it like that, put the sugar into it, okay? Oh, make sure the cheese is cold, so don't store it out for a long time. It needs to be cold and solid, uh, and that's when it tastes the best, okay? All right. So, I've tried with many different Italian as well as other Polish and other European brands of mascarpone, but this one tastes the best okay and now it's time to stuff it up into the platter and I'm gonna show you what to do right. next now since we've mixed it nicely together it's time to put it into the into the platter we can put a few berries at the bottom it will look nicely especially from the side all right, at the top we put the mascarpone cheese. As you can see, it's really, it's really thick. It's not like in your tiramisu where you have it creamed. And that's the secret to this recipe. That's the secret why females love it and kids would go crazy for it. Okay, because it's much, much thicker and it's very, very nice, creamy and sweet. It makes me want to lick my fingers off when I when I put the cream on top of it. 
All right. Mm. Oh, no, man. It's so good. It, it makes me want to eat it. But of, obviously, I'm making this for my wife. So I can't. Okay. So I think that's it. And now to decorate it nicely. Let me put it up nicely for you so you can see it up close and I'm going to present it back to my wife. And that's the final effect. Nice. It's a pity I have to give it to my wife because I'd love to eat it myself. But she loves it.